Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gore Hamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and I wanted to take a few minutes to show you how to get to the dark theme in Inkscape 1.0. So the nice thing about Inkscape 1.0 is they've made it super easy to get to the dark theme. You can actually change some of your icons and the way that they look too. Um, I know in the previous versions of Inkscape, um, you had to download an extension and kind of manipulate some files and, you know, change things in the background as opposed to just using the user interface um, through, the, through some of the menus. So, of course, you want to go ahead and boot Inkscape. I've already got the dark theme set up, and of course, it looks like I've got the default icon. We're going to go ahead and change those today, though, too. So, let's go ahead and go up to the top left. We're going to go ahead and bring down the edit menu, and all the way there at the bottom, you're going to go ahead and click preferences. This is going to give you, of course, all of the preferences and different settings that you can change within Inks Inkscape. If there's different things that you want to change within Inkscape that you really don't like the default settings of, this is the place that you're going to want to do that in. We're going to be focusing on theme, of course, which is going to be underneath the interface drop down. We're going to go ahead and keep that drop down and make sure that the theme is highlighted. Now, with this window, you can actually see that there's um, a few different things that we can change on the theme. We scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can change the size of all of the icons, whether it's going to be in the toolbar, the control bar, the secondary toolbar, or whether you want to show icons in menus. Um, the icon colors, use symbolic icons, change icon theme, and then change the GTK theme, which is going to be change the background theme. Um, we are actually going to um, open up this drop down. We click the Win32. As you can see, that turns everything very, very white. It's kind of hard on the eyes, to be honest. Um, high contrast inverse, which is going to be, you know, in inverting a lot of our colors. We're going to go ahead and click high contrast and then the add weight. Of course, I think I might be um, butchering that pronunciation, but we're just going to roll with it for right now. We are actually going to keep the add weight and going to go ahead and click use dark theme. All right. So now that we've got our background set up, um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that you can do with the icons. Um, under the change icon theme, we can go ahead and open that drop down as of course, we're using the use system icons. We can actually use the Tango, which kind of gives them kind of a modern twist. The multicolor, which makes them a little bit more bold, a little bit more stand out. Um, if you look over here on the left side, um, all of our shapes are actually all in orange. All of the line manipulation, so the freehand draw tool, the uh, Bezier curves, and then our text are all in green. And so it kind of changes the, uh, it blocks those different types of tools um, with one color. And then of course our high color, which is gonna be our default setting. So let's go ahead and we're gonna actually go to the use system icons. I actually like to use the symbolic icons. So we're gonna go ahead and click the check mark under use symbolic icons. And as you can see, it just kind of keeps everything very clean, very plain, you know, Use, of course, whatever is going to be, um, you know, most appealing to you. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Um, you can change the size, of course, to your icons. The one unfortunate thing about that is if we go make all these really, really big, um, nothing happens until you restart Inkscape. So let's go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, the icons are absolutely enormous. So let's go ahead and um, bring those back down to a little bit more manageable size. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I know today was a little bit more of a quick video. I just wanted to go over um, a few of these things with the icons and the background themes that one the Inkscape 1.0 has done some pretty drastic improvements on. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And of course, if you guys want to see anything else in Inkscape or anything else on the YouTube channel here at Misfit Studios, leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys next time.